Cereal leaf beetle adults are about a quarter inch in length. They have a, a black metallic blue colored head as well as elytra, which are the wing coverings. And they have a red thorax and legs. And so it's that red color that makes the adults really jump out, at least in my opinion. Cereal leaf beetle eggs are orange in color and about a sixteenth of an inch in length. And they're almost always uh, laid along the leaf mid rib or, or mid vein of the leaf, either a single egg, singly, or in pairs. Cereal leaf beetle larvae have a brown head and legs and actually have a yellow colored body, but we rarely see uh, the yellow body color because what they do is they cover their body in a mixture of mucus and feces, which gives them kind of a shiny black brown appearance. So these are the guys that when you walk through the field and you get back to the truck and you look down at your pant legs, you see all these black smudges on your pants. That's actually uh, the, the cereal leaf beetle feces that you have all over your pants. And so that, that's another indication other than actually scouting that you have cereal leaf beetles in your field. When I'm sampling small grains for cereal leaf beetles, a lot of times I'll just get down in the, in the field, in the, in the small grain, whether this is wheat in this particular example, and I'll actually look at 10 consecutive tillers for cereal leaf beetle eggs and or larvae, and I'll keep track of those, how many I find. And so I'm not just looking at the, at the flag leaf at the top, I'm actually searching the entire plant, or at least the entire tiller, because sometimes the eggs or larvae will be lower on the tiller, and, uh, and want to make sure that we're doing a complete sample of, of each tiller that we're examining. So I'll look at 10 consecutive uh, tillers within a row, and I'll do that in about 10 spots, keeping track of what I find. 